for me in my redemption arc, I still have that last uh, home straight, you know, to kind of go because I know there's so much more I want to do and complete, you know, in you know, in the last part of my life, definitely. Today is a dramatic day. And the reason it's a dramatic day, I've got a very dramatic guest, Stephen Gillen. This man has quite a story. It's not a normal story. And the story has to be told in three sections, past, present and future. My name is Daphne Taducci. I'm bringing you the epic story of Stephen Gillen. Thanks for having me, Daphne. I'm expecting a very, very deep, very um, uh, exclusive interview today. We're going to go into content that has never, never before been been put out there. Let's get down to it. What does the future hold for somebody who had such a traumatic start in life, a very dark past? a past of, of so many trials and tribulations and so much torture and so much intensity. Where does that all lead to now, 2022 and beyond? So Stephen Gillen, we've talked about your past briefly and your present, your busyness now. So what does the future look like for you? What is your vision of the future? For me, I'm always preparing to climb the next mountain. You know that, you know what I'm like, just to, just to get that right so people get an idea of what you know, actually goes on with me. Sometimes that's hard because there's so much good stuff happening and you know, targets that we're hitting, you know, achievements and great stuff that we do today. You know, for me, it's, 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 it's about changing that little bit of the world, that little part that we can, you know, however humble that is. And definitely, you know, with the reach we have and the stuff that we do today, we're very privileged. We can, you know, to, to, to inspire and improve hundreds of millions of people's lives uh, around the world. This is uh, the biggest privilege, um, you know, to have really now today. Oh, well, thank you for the answer. The question I have for you now, though, where do you feel you are in your redemption arc at the moment? For me to have transformed my life, Daphne, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of discipline, a lot of being open to learn. There's a lot of sacrifice there, all right? You have to be open to let that stuff in, you know, and have the right people around you. Now, you know, life is a journey and there are so many more levels. There's always so much more to do. Even if we had five lifetimes, you're still, there's still so much more to do. For me in my redemption arc, I'm, I'm, I'm quite advanced, it has to be said, absolutely a 360 of where I was. But for me, I still have that last uh, home straight, you know, to kind of go, because I know there's so much more I want to do and complete, you know, in, you know, in the last part of my life, definitely. I've got some questions for you. I'd just like to play a little game. So as I say a word, I want you just to tell me what comes into your mind, okay? Just go with it, you're gonna love it. So, rabbit. Hair. <laughs> Gun. Bad. Drugs. Destruction. Ecstasy. Joy. Music. Wonderful. Meat. Not so much of it. <laughs> <laughs> People. Wonderful. Music. Empowering. Transformation. Got to be done. Leadership. Inspiring. Love. The center of all things. Feelings. 
how to manage films expression well thank you very much well who would have known that Stephen would have even responded to any of those questions so thank you for that you know by actually word association it's a really good thing to do with your loved ones or people that you care about um, and that also it's a lovely way to open up conversations and topic so one of the words that you just um, used there was expression so for your future what is that biggest thing that you would like to express in your life i think the world has been built on stories that's for sure you know, I, I'm an executive producer now and, you know, some wonderful, you know, really big international stuff that's going out there. It's, it's, you know, and other stuff that we do. I'm a public speaker, all these kind of skills. But really what it is, it's mediums of expression. So it's to make things better, Daphne. It's, it's to tell wonderful stories, to inspire people, to lift people up, to educate people, to entertain people. You know, all of the this is a this is a you know a great privilege, but it's a wonderful thing, and it's a it's like sports or music. You know, it has the real channel to really change and mass massive things. So as we're talking about the future, I'm just going to take us to a timeline five years time from now. So it's 2022. So it'll be 2027. Okay, so. I would like you just to look in the camera and just give a little message for the vision of the future for a few names I'm going to pull out of the hat. You up for that? Yeah. Okay. The first message is for yourself. I see a lot of security, but security in the way security for me is really about others, really. When you get down to it, any man worth his salt, he needs to be beyond that, but it's always about others, right? You know, creating, you know, the universe that he needs to populate. So what he cares about, what the people who he cares about, the, 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 the vocation he has, the, the, the values and what's important to him are secure, you know, within that. I see that being done you know, um, you know, I see us really, really elevating and being really, really privileged, you know, to work with other like-minded people to do more and be more. And if you can look in the camera and just speak a message for your brothers and sister. Look, you know, my brothers and sisters, you know, like anyone, they've all had their, you know, their challenges. They're wonderful people, you know, and I wish them all the very best and all the love, blessings and light, you know, and they know that. And they're, they're really in a wonderful time in their life now. So, you know, I wish them all the best for everything to come, you know, and all the children of the family. And a message for your children for five years time. You know, I'm really proud of them. They're like my little world, right? You know, they bring their stages, children, their challenges. As we know, they're coming into different that, that, that different stage of their life that's really important. So I'm very proud of them. I'm going to be there for them. You know, we're going to nurture and instruct them. So it's going to be really good for them. I have a son who's 30, you know, I'm supremely proud of him as well. I want that he be all the best of himself too. And they're all very much loved. And a message for all the people that enjoy your content for five years' time. Thank you for uh, looking in and being a part of my journey, you know, for what that's worth to you. I suppose the most valuable thing I can give is that it inspires you and helps you in, to progress in your life and, you know, or even teach you some of the things by my my mistakes and you know of course entertain you and uh, you know and help you on your way you know and um i don't take anything for for granted um very humble very grounded work very hard towards the good stuff and i'm really privileged um for all the people that will be interested in in what we do certainly in my journey going forward you know and a big thank you for that and a message for all those families out there that sometimes don't find it so easy to get on with each other. 
you know, they say you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family. I mean, really, that's a lot of rubbish too, right? You know, because we're one kind of entity, really, when you think about it. And it's, it's very important, you know, for all of us that we see that the world is working for us and not against us. You know, it's the same for families, you know. Really, family is the most important thing, right? And, you know, we certainly lift each other coming up. So it's not, it's never about the blaming or the finger pointing. It's actually about leaning in together towards the good stuff, you know, being open to learn and, you know, uh, not to judge, but to take the good things in people and empower them to be even more than what they are. And. This is a really tough one, but a message to the world about peace. In 2019, I was, I was privileged enough as well to be nominated for International Peace Prize. That was really big for me. You know, it was an unbelievable privilege even to be thought for something like that. We're both peace ambassadors. So, you know, I have a lot of views about the world. What is that? I know there's enough abundance on this world for everyone. There's enough resources for everyone. So, you know, I would wish the world, you know, uh, people in the world to be a lot more empowered and looked after and be going in a lot more focused directional route together that I really do feel definitely we was always meant to be going in anyway. Maybe it's a matter of um, evolution, you know, that we get there, but the quicker we get there and look after each other, the happier, more abundant, more safer, more elevated all of us are going to be on this planet. Well, Stephen Gillen, thank you for your honesty today. Thank you so much for all your hard work and thank you for your service to this world. It's pure joy knowing you. So, Stephen Gillen, thank you so much for this in-depth interview, past, present and future of Stephen Gillen. It's been intense and deep. Anyway, let us know what you think. Until next time. Thank, Thank you, you, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks for having us. Thank you for.